So today I'm going to be covering the crypto mining company SOS Limited, ticker symbol SOS, and why it's going to be passing $15 and it's going to be hitting new all-time highs. I'm also going to be going over some news regarding cryptocurrency that will directly affect SOS share prices. If you're not familiar with SOS Limited, it's a holding company in the tech sector and they mainly focus on research and development of big data, blockchain, and artificial intelligence. The company provides marketing data, technology, and solutions to emergency rescue services in China. There were two main factors affecting the share prices of SOS Limited. The first one being the electricity supply deal with a hydropower station in China to power its cloud crypto mining center. The deal occurred on the 5th and as you guys can see on that exact same day, the stock ended up surging from $3.50 a share all the way up to $4.35 a share. SOS Limited also announced an 86 million registered direct offering priced at the current share price which is about $10 right now. Now this news was announced on the 18th so if you look on the charts on that day you guys can see there's a lot of consolidation around this area right here which means that the stock was trading within that specific range and it didn't really go any higher or lower than that. So this consolidation that we can see right here on the 18th occurred on the same day that the share offering was announced. So that's a clear indicator that the share offering must have had an effect on the price. If we go back two days ago, you guys can see that there was consolidation in that same area. It was between the $10.94 range and the $11.53 range. So you guys can see right here after the consolidation was done, it had a huge spike and it ended up hitting all time highs of $16.46. So that's a clear indicator that the share offering is the only thing that's pretty much keeping this stock from hitting all-time highs once again. This share offering does end on the 21st. So once it ends, you guys can expect the stock to hit all-time highs once again. And it can probably even hit $15 for the first time, which is my prediction. With that being said, let's take a look at the support and resistance levels that I'm going to be watching for the next couple of days. So I put a support level at the $11.03 range because as you guys can see right here, this same level has acted as support the last time the stock broke out and hit all-time highs. The stock touched this line multiple times and bounced off it. You guys can see right here, touched it, bounced off, touched it, bounced off. So this is going to be a good support level because the stock has bounced off this point multiple times and it's rarely gone under this line in the past few days. So that's going to be a good support level to be watching out for at $11.03. So I have two resistance levels here because as you guys can see right here, this first level of resistance, it acted as support the last time the stock broke out. So I'm going to be watching this first resistance level very closely. If the stock does break this first resistance level, you guys are going to want to be watching that second level of resistance because that second level of resistance actually acted as resistance that same day that the stock ended up getting to all time highs. So once that second level of resistance is broken, we can expect the stock to get really high. And that's just going to be a really good sign that you guys should be watching out for. Although I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice, this is how I would play this going into next week. So I would watch the price of Bitcoin very closely because whenever there's an increase in Bitcoin's price, especially a major one, it's going to cause the volume of SOS Limited to increase, which will in turn increase the share prices. Also, the RSI levels will be helpful in indicating if the stock is overbought or oversold. If the RSI is at about 70 or above, it means that the stock is overbought and the price will most likely come down. If the RSI is at around 30 or less, it means that the stock is oversold and the price will most likely go up. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe with your notification bells on so that you guys don't miss any future videos. I'm going to be making videos about the best stocks of 2021, as well as some stocks that you guys want me to cover in the comment section occasionally. I also have a Discord where I'm going to be showing you guys some of the trading strategies that I would use. So if you guys would like to join that, you have to be a member on this channel. You guys see that blue join button next to the subscribe button. Click on that join button and become a member, any tier, and you guys will be added into the Discord just let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have joined and become a member and i'll add you guys right into it but yeah if this helped you guys out in any way go ahead and leave a like and i'll see you guys next time